What's up, Team Cat Fitness? So, this is episode six of your home workout series. Today, we're gonna get started with some jumping jacks. We're gonna warm our body up 60 seconds with the jumping jacks. We have three separate circuits today, but in each circuit, there are gonna be three parts. Okay, so we're gonna do three different exercises. We're gonna repeat. Um, some of you guys are gonna be doing it three rounds. Some of you guys are gonna be doing four rounds. And for my very advanced elite athletes, you can do it up to five rounds, okay? So, I'm gonna get the clock going. We're gonna start with the jumping jacks. We're going in three, two, one, and go. Remember, anytime we're doing a 60 second exercise, that first bell just lets us know that we're at the 30 second marker. Second bell is gonna let us know that we completed a full minute. So, I want us to get the full body. Jumping jacks is like the best exercise to get the full body nice and warmed up before we start this first circuit. Okay, we got 30 more seconds, y'all. 30 seconds. Ooh, I'm gonna take it up a notch. Let's get everything going. Uh, turn to the side. Get nice and warm. We got 10 seconds left on the clock. We're gonna count it down. We're going five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be doing. First exercise that we're gonna be doing today is gonna to be the high knees, but it's only for 30 seconds, y'all. We're gonna go 30 second high knees, then we're gonna go into a squat and a courtesy lunge, and then we're gonna have some squat and presses. The equipment that you're gonna to need today, just a set of dumbbells. We're gonna use a set of dumbbells today, nothing too crazy, okay? So, we're gonna get those high knees up in three, two, one, and go. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Going straight high knees. We're gonna get that heart rate up. Making sure that we're pumping. We got 10 seconds on the clock. All the way through. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I got two set of dumbbells, got a set of 10s and a set of 15s. Um, if you only have one set of dumbbells, that works too. But for this first exercise, I'm gonna grab my 15s. What I'm gonna be doing, the movement, you don't have, with this particular one, you don't even need dumbbells. Um, if you want to add a form of resistance, the dumbbells are going to give you the resistance. You can just do the movement itself. So what we're going to be doing is going into a squat, coming up, courtesy lunge, courtesy lunge, okay? So let me show you one more time. We're going to do a squat, then we're going to go courtesy lunge, courtesy lunge, okay? So this is gonna be a 60 second movement. Okay, I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. We're gonna knock it out and then we're gonna to go to the next movement. We're going in three, two, one, and go. So, I'm gonna bring weights up here. We're gonna knock out our first squat. Courtesy lunge, courtesy lunge. Okay, back to position. Keeping those bodies moving the entire time. Okay. This is a great exercise for your glutes, your hamstrings. You're gonna feel a nice burn in the entire lower body. I like holding the weights up high because it gets my shoulders engaged as well. Uh, yep, it's a beautiful exercise. We got 10 seconds left on the clock. I uh, love it. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna set it down. 
So, this next exercise, we're gonna be doing a squat and press. I'm gonna get the alarm a little bit louder so you guys can hear. So we're coming down, we're squatting and pressing, okay? We're going in three, two, one, and go. So we're squatting down, pressing up to the ceiling. There we go. 30 seconds. When we're squatting, we always want to make sure when we're sitting down, we're keeping our feet nice and flat on the ground. Making sure our heels don't come up off the ground. Okay. So that's gonna be your first circuit. You got your high knees, you got your squat into your courtesy lunges, and then you got your, your uh, squat and press. So like I said, for my beginners, you guys can repeat that two more rounds. For my more advanced clients, you can do it up to five rounds if you need to, okay? Once you guys finish that, we'll start on our next three exercises. Okay. Welcome back. You guys just got done doing your three exercises, your high knees, your squat to your courtesy lunges, boom, and our squat and press. Okay, so we're next, we're on to our next three part circuit. So this is what we're gonna be doing, guys and gals. We're gonna start off with a squat and hold. It's gonna be a 60 second hold. Um, you don't necessarily need any weights for this particular exercise. If you want some resistance, you definitely can grab the dumbbells. I'm gonna grab the dumbbells and hold them up for the 60 seconds. After that, we're gonna go into a plank T rotation, same thing. You don't necessarily need dumbbells or any kind of resistance, but if you want to add it, you can. And I'll show you the different variations. And then right into a fire hydrant. And I'll show you uh, some modifications that we can do for these particular exercises, okay? So the first one's gonna be 60 seconds. It's just old school, just get it nice and low, holding, holding that squat for a complete 60 seconds. I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells for this particular one. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and go. All right, so, we're getting nice and low. Be in a seated position, getting that butt. This one, whoo, man, you are gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it right in the legs, y'all. That first 30 seconds is gonna feel like forever. The second 30 seconds, your body's gonna be like, okay, I see what you're trying to do here. 30 seconds left, y'all. Let's make sure we hold it. Stay low, don't come up. I know your body's telling you to come up, but you gotta stay low the entire time. Making sure that we're keeping our feet flat on the ground. We got 15 seconds left, okay? I would say, I would recommend trying the first round without any weights. And then if you wanted some kind of resistance, adding the weights, three, two, one, and bell. Okay. So, the next one we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a couple of different variations. Matter of fact, I'm gonna come over here. Um, now, if you have a couch, a chair, you can do your T rotations. So it's getting into that push-up plank position right here. You can lean on a counter, um, something that's elevated so you don't have to get all the way down. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to open up, come to the sides, okay? Now, we can do it on something that's elevated. We can come down here to the ground or mat. Also, same idea coming right to our side. Now, to even make it a little bit more challenging, if we have some, if you have your dumbbells out and you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, we could come right here and open up right here. So I'm gonna do my set with the dumbbells, but you guys can pick one of the variations to do yours. It's gonna be a 30 second movement. So I'm gonna set the clock. 
30 seconds. We're going to get as many reps in as possible. And then we're going to go into our fire hydrants, okay? We're going to go three, two, one, and go. All right, 30 seconds. Going right up to the ceiling. Uh, keeping this body moving the entire time. Like I said, you guys can try it without the weights. And if it doesn't feel challenging enough, incorporate the weights into the workout. We got five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to be going into are our fire hydrants. We're going to set the dumbbells up. So, fire hydrant, we're going to be on all four of y'all. We're going to open up the hips. We're going to start 30 seconds on each leg. Okay, and then we're going to rotate. We're going to go three, two, one, and go. Okay, one leg up. Keeping that leg right there, engaging those hips, get a nice burn. We got 10 seconds on the clock. We got five, four, three, two, and one, switch sides. Now I'm just opening up to the other side. This is a great hip exercise. What we fail to realize is a lot of time we don't work our hips enough. We work a lot of other movements, but we fail to work on our hips. We got five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so that's gonna be your second circuit. Like I said, you can either pause the video, making sure also, I'm not having said it yet, but also making sure that you take your breathers, your little uh, 30 second water breaks in between the videos before you restart them. Make sure you're staying hydrated during this entire process. So we got one more three part circuit that I'm gonna show you guys when you come back to the video. And then that's gonna be our workout for today. All right, team. I'm seeing the same team. So you just got done doing your squats. Uh, well, your squat hold, your T rotations, and your fire hydrants, right? We have three more exercises for you guys to knock out, and then we are gonna be done for today. All right, so this next one, we're gonna be doing a quarter thigh lift. So right here, keeping our legs nice and straight. We're gonna come right to the outside. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. Now, if you need something to balance on, you can use a counter. So if we're using a counter, we're just raising right up. We're gonna get some hip work in today, right here. Um, also, if you wanna add in some weights, I'm gonna personally add in my dumbbells. I'm gonna hold them up high. It's gonna put a little bit more weight on the leg that I'm balancing on and it's gonna incorporate my shoulders and everything. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg and then we're gonna go into the next exercise. I'm gonna grab my 15s. We're gonna go three, two, one, and go. So I'm gonna start with my right leg, coming right out. What's funny y'all is, this takes a lot of balance, whether we know it or not, to stand on one leg, hold the dumbbells up. Not only are you getting a good hip exercise, but the leg, all the smaller muscles that it takes to balance is incorporating. Okay, so we're going to the left leg, that was 30 seconds. Ooh, look at that balance. Look up, caught it. There you go. Sometimes you're gonna have to catch yourself. Might start to lose your balance. But come around, be able to hold it up the entire time. Ah, got a couple more seconds left, y'all. Three, two, and one. Okay. So, this next exercise, we're coming down to the mat. 
So, what we're gonna need to do, first of all, I'm gonna show you the movement without any weights. So, you're gonna spread out like a T. We're gonna bring everything up and in all together. So, we're gonna bring our arms and our legs up all together in one move, okay? So, we're gonna go for 30 seconds, but what I'm gonna do to, so, you're coming in like you're doing a chest fly, and then you're gonna be doing a leg raise. I'm gonna add my 10 pound dumbbells to the mix to give it some more resistance. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. So, we're gonna be going in three, two, one, and go. So, what it's gonna look like is right here. Come straight up. When I'm coming down with the weights, I'm not touching the ground. I'm going probably like an inch off the ground. Same thing with my legs. Legs aren't touching the ground. They're right above, keeping everything nice and tight, keeping all my muscles incorporated. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds. I know the bell went off, but it started a little bit late. Okay, so we got one more exercise for this particular circuit. I'm gonna put these dumbbells up. We're gonna stay on the mat though. We're gonna do a single leg bridge press. So let me scoop you out a little bit more. So you might remember from previous videos, we, we've done bridges before where we bring our hips up, right? But what we're gonna do, bring one leg up and we're coming right up, okay? So it's gonna make it a little bit more challenging. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. So I'm gonna set our timer for 60 seconds. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg, and that's gonna be the end of our third circuit. We're going in three, two, one, and go. So we're coming up, keeping everything nice and tight. A great way to work our glute, work our core, you gotta feel it in your quad when you're coming up and squeezing. Ah. Making sure we get full extension, we're gonna rotate. Coming all the way up. Come up as high as you can. When you're coming down, you're gonna feel it in your hamstring and your glute. As you're pressing up into the ceiling, just coming all the way up, get in a good squeeze. Now come up, squeeze, bring it back down nice and low. Right there. Okay, so that is the end of your workout today. You guys remember, those that are just starting off, you got two more rounds. Those that are a little bit more advanced, challenge yourself. See if you can get a, a, a fourth or a fifth round in. See how your body's feeling. Really start listening to your body, guys. I always tell people, you gotta know when your body wants more and when it's time to cut it off. If you feel like you've hit the max and you don't have nothing left in you, then it's time to it's time to rest for today. And you know, as long as we incorporate a full body exercise on a full body exercise in on a daily basis making sure we're working all our muscle groups. We're gonna see progression over time, y'all. It doesn't happen overnight. When I lost my initial 70 pounds, you know, it was a six month process for me in my journey, right? Your journey, you're taking, you're going at your own pace, right? And that's what it's all about. Go at your own pace, challenge yourself. Just be better than what you were in your last workout. That's what I recommend to you. If you did an exercise, if you're looking at a timer and you did an exercise for 30 seconds, challenge yourself to do 
do the exercise for 35 seconds next time. Do it for 40 seconds. Do gradual progressions, okay? So don't, don't be in competition with anybody but yourself, okay? Don't compare yourself uh, to anybody else but yourself. Because once you start doing that, you can focus on yourself and your own journey and look within, okay? So I appreciate you guys tuning in once again. Um, if you're not currently following me on social media, IG is right here, Cat Fitness 3 on IG. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Cat Fitness. I believe the website, like always, should be at the top of the video somewhere, www.catfitnesswellnesscenter.com. It's our goal to educate, inspire, and motivate you each time we come on here because once you complete your fitness journey, you're going to motivate and inspire somebody in your circle to be healthier as well. Our goal is to help, you know, uh, bring down the numbers of high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, all these things that plague our community, but we can only do it with your particular, with your help and making sure that you get to your fitness goals, all right? So we appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.